Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I am going to show you four different awesome effects using layer masks and filters. You are absolutely going to love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This will work fine in PE 10 and PE 11. Let's go ahead and check out the image that we'll be working on for this tutorial. Now, first thing we need to do is right click on the layer and select duplicate layer and then select OK. And then right click on the layer and select duplicate layer and then select OK. And then we'll right click on the layer and select duplicate layer and then select OK. And then we'll right click on the layer and select duplicate layer and then select OK. And then we'll right click. Alright, let's turn off the visibility of the first layer and select the layer right under it. Now we're going to go up here to filter and then I'm going to select blur and radial blur. And I want the amount of the blur to be about 33. That's my favorite amount for a blur. 33. I love it. Zoom is good and best is selected and now I'm going to click on OK. There it is! But it's going to get a lot better than that so just hang in there with me. Now we're going to turn off the visibility of that layer and select the layer just under it. And we're going to go up to filter again and select sketch and then comic. All right, and there's a lot of presets here and sliders, and I'm just gonna go with the default. And then move that around, because it looks like I know what I'm doing. And now Photoshop Elements is going to work. Look at that! Looks like an illustration! I love it! All right, now we're gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility of this layer and select the layer just below it. And I selected Filter and Texture and Mosaic Tiles. Ah, that doesn't look so great. So I'm going to select this version of it. I like that a lot better. And what I'm doing is I'm uh, turning down the border of the tiles and also uh, the size of the tiles. That looks a little bit better. Okay. Click on the OK button now. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer and again I'm going to select the layer just below it. And then we're going to go to Filter and Distort and Glass. Look at that! That is awesome! And that looks fine so I clicked on OK. Alright I just turned off all the layers now and I've turned on the visibility of the very first layer. We have to add a layer mask. Well, let's move this thing over so we can see what's going on. And we're going to come up here, like I said, to add the layer mask, which is that icon that looks like a square and a circle inside of it. And there's the layer mask, the white thing. Alright, now we're going to go to the toolbar and select the brush tool. And with the brush tool, uh, I'm going to have the size about 89 pixels and the opacity that's real important, not 100% but about half, like 46 or 47. I'm not very good at math. Okay, 50 would have been half. Now, another thing that's important is that you don't select the hard brush like that. Okay, uh, here is another hard brush. Okay, we want a soft brush. The soft brush looks a little fuzzy on the top and the bottom. Okay, so I got my soft brush selected. And now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we want to make sure that black and white is showing up in the colors. If it's not, what you want to do is click on this button here so that black and white is selected. But we want black on top. If it's not on top, click on this button. Black needs to be on top. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start... Well, let's uh, get the visibility back on in all the layers first. Okay. Now we're going to start uh, drawing on this thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush on the, the blur. 
And so what I'm doing is, wait a minute, nothing's working. Why do I listen to Info Puppet? He's nothing but a big dummy. Why? Okay, the reason why is because the layer mask needs to be selected. And I, you know, if it's not, this is definitely not gonna work. All right, so now I am brushing on the color black. Now you can see the icon of the layer mask where it's appearing at the top there. But you can also see that the blur is now appearing on the image. This is absolutely the most controlled way to brush on a blur on the image. If you don't get what's going on, we're kind of punching a hole in the mask with the color black. And that's letting it see through to the blur, the blurred layer that's below the regular image. Look at that. You see how nice that's looking? I love it. I'll do a little touch up over here. Just so you guys again think like looks like I know what I'm doing. Okay, now if I turn off the visibility, look at that! That's the image below it. Uh, looks like she's walking out of an illustration. And now if I turn off the visibility here, look at that, there's the mosaic tiles. It looks awesome! So let's turn off the visibility of mosaic tiles. There is, uh, let's see, that's the glass effect. So, I'm going to turn the brush down because I did notice that uh, there was a little bit of a problem with her leg. And see, some of the mosaics are on her leg. So I'm just going to change it back to white and the white will take away the effect. Or put back the mask. So, there you go. Four different effects. If you have a client that you're doing work for, you can ask which one looks the best. Hope you really enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet.